Hi, Mrs. Nita here with Heroes Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here with me. Um, today's orthography class is the day of the week where we work on spelling. Okay, today we're going to be working on how to add ing to the end of a word, to the end of verbs. So um, perhaps it was last week we talked about adding ed to the end of verbs to make it past tense. We said, you know, I, I need to watch, watch watch something, watch the birds. I watch the birds, you know, or, you know, I must clean the house. I cleaned the house, past tense, cleaned. So we took our verb clean. The basic verb is called an infinitive. We took the infinitive verb, the base form, and we made it a past tense word. So today we're gonna to take our verbs and make it present continuous, which just means it's something that's happening right now. I, uh, jump every morning you know our exercise i am jumping jumping so how do we make our verb go from jump to jumping we just add ing so that's what we'll be practicing instead of working on today let's begin with the word of prayer and we'll get right into today's lesson we thank you lord for this time we have to learn and grow we seek to do the best we can and add to what we know we love you god with all our hearts and to others love we show pleasing you is our goal that's where our lesson we shall go in jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's just get started. We use the example of jump. How do you spell jump? J U M P. So this is how you spell jump. But to make it um, present continuous, want to make it something that's occurring this very moment, I am jumping. You know, I'm not. We need to add I and G to this word. So let's add I. N and G. Okay, so here we have jump, J-U-M-P. You know how to spell jump. But to make it something that's present, something that you're doing right this moment, add I-N-G, and there you have it. Jumping, J-U-M-P, I-N-G. So now that we know I-N-G is going to be there, let's just continue to modify the words until we come up with a cycle of different verbs we can use. So for instance, if we're not jumping, what else are we doing? Playing. How do you spell play? Play is P-L, right? Pull. Is that pull? Pull. And then maybe A, play. And then A-Y come together to make the long A sound. So there you have P-L-A-Y, pull, A, P-L-A-Y-I-N-G. I'm playing. What are you doing? I'm playing. What else could we be doing if we're not playing? Could we be reading? So these are different verbs. Verb is something you do. Okay. Um, so I can be jumping. I can be playing. I can be reading. I can, you know, we'll talk about some different things we can do very soon. How do you spell read? R-E-A-D. Is that right? Read. I read every day. I read my Bible every single day. But what am I, what if I'm reading my Bible this very moment? I'm going to say I am reading reading present continuous i'm doing it this very moment add these two you have r-e-a-d i-n-g i'm reading um let's find another word what else could we be doing we could be eating what about that could we be eating so how do you spell eat e a and let's find the t eat i eat three times a day roughly between two and three times a day. What happens if I'm eating this very moment? Well, I'm going to be eating. I eat now, I am eating, E-A-T-I-N-G. So let's do a few more words and I'll trust you You get it. And you probably already have it. I just wanna make sure that you're, we don't wanna assume our students know we want to actually um, teach because Making assumptions isn't very good as a teacher. You want to assume the best, but teach everything. So I'm not eating, I'm not jumping, I'm not playing. What about singing? I love to sing. How do you spell sing? S, maybe S-I, let's find another I. S-I-N, <laughs> find another N. Our I-N-G is occupying the I and N right now. S I N, let's find a G. <laughs> find another G. I N G. Okay, so let's find another G. 
Okay, S-I-N-G-I-N-G. -I -N -G. So I am, I sing, I sing daily. I sing hourly. <laughs> I probably sing every 10 minutes or so. Maybe every 20 minutes, at least one, at least some tune, you gotta sing something. What happens if I'm doing this moment? La, I am singing. It's S-I-N-G, I-N-G, singing this very moment. Let's do one more. And then I will let you be free to complete your exercise in your workbook. So I'm not eating, I'm not jumping, I'm not playing, I'm not reading, I'm not singing. Maybe I am just talking. What about that? Is it possible just to just to be talking like I am right now? So how do you spell talk? Talk is T-A-L-K. You learned that last year. We mastered how to spell talk and walk and things like that. But what happens whenever you want to make it present continuous? I talk often, we all do, but what about if I am doing it this moment, then I am talking, T-A-L-K-I-N-G, okay? Talking, eating, reading, studying, jumping, singing, talking, okay. Thank you so much for coming to class. Please take time out to complete the exercise and work of workbook. It'll just reinforce what you've learned today. And until tomorrow, God bless. <music> I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry